in part three of these uh, videos showing people how to do their instructional program review, we'll take a look at the actual template uh, within eLumen and go through some of the different sections and the options that you'll have available to work with in the website. As a reminder, in order to access the eLumen website, you can go to the Merced College website, click on Faculty and Staff, and come down underneath the login with the lock next to it. We have eLumen, Search Course and Program Outcomes, or Outlines, and click on that, and it should take you over to the eLumen website. I'm going to set this to my faculty role. And again, when you look in the faculty role, you should automatically default um, to your home department in here. And again, you have um, slows and assessments. We're not going to be using that tab right now. We're going to go over to our strategic planning tab. And this should allow you to access the program reviews. So again, just go down to the bottom of the table and see if it pops up. If you don't see or you don't have access to your program review here, uh, please send me an email and I can add you as a collaborator. This is something that, again, you have to have that area coordinator or above role in order to make these modifications. So when we look at this, we can see um, it pulls up the biology program review here. And you can see there's just this announcement at the top. And we can go in and start adding our um, information in the various text box. And again, just as a reminder, this little thing right here is a floating box, and you can see it floats on top of the screen, so you can navigate between all of the different sections relatively easily just by clicking on that, and it will take you to it. The other feature that is built into the software is you can read the instructions that are highlighted with this blue box here, and if you don't like them and you want to get them out of the way, just click on the word instruction and it'll shrink that box. So in our first section here, our program summary, we have two real um, fields that you can enter your information into with um, relative to just sort of a summary of the overall purpose of your program here at the beginning. And you can see the mission for the biology program really is the purpose for the program. The second part of this is the program outcome. So when you were doing the curriculum mapping, you have the various program uh, student learning outcomes or PSLOs. And when we look at this, again, think about it as the outcomes are what we're saying. The students should have knowledge, skills, and abilities on these outcomes in order for them to earn the degree. So think about if you have standards in your discipline, this could be something like articulation agreements with the Cal States and the UC. Um, if you're looking at CTE courses, do you have a professional organization that provides your standards? So that's what we really want to see. And a lot of people have already completed this in the past program review, so it'll be relatively easy to complete this section. Um, we also want to find out how are things going. So let us know um, what are you proud about? And I call this, this is the bragging section. So this is where you can put down various things that have happened with student success or within your department or your program and brag about here's the things that we did really well. And that way, um, hopefully, we can get more people aware of the good work that's being done at Merced College. But also, you might get access to this list of things and find, hey, we could use something like that in our program. And um, possibly increase student success for the students in your program there. The last part of this mission and access is this documentation of dialogue. And we really will just want to get a list of um, when did you talk about these things and how did you talk about these things related to your program review. So that's the first section, relatively straightforward with your program summary. And if we move on to the second section here, this is our assessment summary. And this is where um, departments should be having a more extensive dialogue related to how your students are doing in their courses um, relative to the program there. So if you look at this, relatively brief um, instructions here. The table has a little button that you can use to generate data. And so I'll show you right there. And note, if your program has not completed that curriculum mapping or if you haven't assessed your courses, then the fields in the table might not be accurate. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Generate Data just for the biology program here. 
And you can see eLumen automatically generates this data over here. You can see that the ones that are active right here from 2020 summer, so the ones that we've been collecting data on for the past two years, and then we also have previous um, results, and it looks like during COVID time, there weren't too many assessments going on. But we can say for the four that have the letter designation, you can see the results. And again, if you remember, these results are from the curriculum mapping where we said the students are picking up this outcome, analyze the natural world from a variety of different courses. And here's how they're doing overall in those courses. So it looks like we're just above our expected performance right there for students being um, showing or demonstrating that they can analyze the natural world based on their performance at assessments that were completed in the classroom setting. And so we've got the four program outcomes for that biology degree listed here. Um, one of the other features is Illumin is doing some strangeness, if you will, with the numbers. And part of that has to do with Illumin gets its information out of Colleague. And one of the problems that we're running into with the biology program is we also have a health science degree. And for some reason in Colleague, the health science degree is linked up to the health science program, which doesn't exist at Merced College this health science degree should be linked to the biology program. So if you are finding that you are not able to generate all of this information that you need for your program, please send me an email or give me a call and let me know. And I can go in um, as a data coordinator, another role there, and generate the data. And so that's what I did for this particular section right here. I went ahead and generated the data for the health sciences degree. And you can see these are the program outcomes for the health science AA degree. And you can see the performance that we have right there. Looks like some work needs to be done on that last one. So again, with this section right here, we really want to focus on how the students are doing at their um, outcomes assessment at the course level and how that is related to the program level. So click on the instruction to get that out. And there's a few questions here. Describe how those program outcomes are being assessed. So you would want to go through and um, sort of give a overview on what's happening at the course level and how those program outcomes are being assessed at the course level. You also want to summarize the assessment data so this table will get moved down over here and we can look at the biology program and the health science degree um, outcomes and how students are doing at those. And the last part of this section is we would like you to sit down and those discussions that you're having with your department. How are the students doing? How are you interpreting these results? So looking at this one, what's going on with this last one right here? Why are we at 50%? We would want to go in and try and figure out what's going on. Is this something that the assessments that are being done at the course level aren't um, indicating the skills that we expect from the students, or maybe something else is going on with the mapping. And so this is where a flag sort of comes up because we expect it to be at 70%, but we're down at 50%. So that's where you would want to do this analysis and interpretation and see what's going on and have that discussion with your program. And then um, the sort of plan or the goals could come out of that process and you might need to modify those in the future. Um, if we go down to this third section here, our program trends, um, built into this instruction is a link that would allow you to look at the program review data set. So I'm going to open this up in a different window while that's loading up and discussing it. But um, our Office of Institutional Effectiveness does provide data sets every year. And this has information about what's going on with the students and other parts of your program. And they will give you a summary of the data sets over the past five years. So if we switch over to this, again, you'll need to log in through the portal there. And we'll go down to the very bottom one right here. And again, you will need to navigate through here, through your area and cohort. But if I pull this up, and click on it for the biology program. 
Um, this has a couple of important features to the data sets here. The first tab right there is just some definitions. So it's letting you know the abbreviations that are being used, things like FTEF and FTEs, WISH, and all of these different abbreviations, and some of the terms that you'll be running into, like um, course completion rate or CCR, or course success rate, CSR. So if you need to, we try to define all of the terms that would appear in this so you have a reference. And then if you go down to the bottom of this spreadsheet, you can go to the next feature here. So here we're looking at course completion and course success rate. And again, this is um, the data from the Office of Institutional Effectiveness is looking at the biology program and also students that were in the health sciences program. So if you need to ask for specific changes or specific additions, um, you can fill out a data request with the Office of Institutional Effectiveness. The other features that I will point out is, again, we have our five years of data here. And we've also broken it down so we can look at the district as a whole and then what's going on at the Merced campus versus the Los Banos campus and also what's going on when you're looking at DE courses. And just so you have something for comparison, we pulled up the district average. So this is looking at the average for all of the courses across campus to see it looks like we had um, 85, 86% success rate in 2017 and in 2020. So that is going to appear as this line right here for comparison. So you can look at how the program is doing relative to the college as a whole. And if you do see a significant deviation, that's where you would want to start um, probing the data to see what's going on um, with student success there. And here we can see the course success rate down here. So this is um, the students that have earned passing grades in the different um, courses. So again, the definitions are shown right here. And then the final thing that we can see on our student performance is the number of awards that have um, come about over the past five years. And so you can see that we do have an increase in the number of AAs and we also had that increase in the number of associate um, in science degrees. And some of you will also start to see the ASTs or the AATs for transfer will be appearing on the data sets. Um, if we switch over to our third tab on the bottom, here's where we look at um, things that are associated with the staffing in your program. So productivity is a measure of um, what's going on with the contact hours and the amount of um, faculty that are available. And just to let you know, usually what the state looks for for productivity, what they consider um, sort of the average is or a good productivity number is 525. And so look at your productivity numbers to see what's going on there. If you drop below 525, that could be something like we have a limit on the amount of space or we have the limit on the number of students that we can accept. So take a look at these, but there is sort of a grain of salt. You can see full-time equivalent faculty and also full-time equivalent students there. If we switch over to our fourth tab, now we're looking at um, data that's associated with the classes in your program. So we have numbers for percent, percent fill rates for the classes. And again, we have our district average to use as sort of a benchmark to see how you're doing relative to the district as a whole. We have the average class size right here. And then this last table down here is um, what's going on with um, the number of sections. So again, you can look at the growth or decrease in size of your classes and what's going on associated with your program there. The last tab on the bottom here has to do with demographics. And so we're looking at a variety of different demographic categories. Again, for students in the biology program for this data set compared to the district average that is over here. And we don't expect to see this. This is where sometimes having a small sample size can have a big effect on the numbers. So again, look at the N on these tables to see if you're dealing with a class of something like 21 students, 
having four students can completely change your percentages there. So we have um, the race or ethnicity demographic. You can also look at the demographics associated with the students coming through your program in terms of their age. And then the last one that we have down here is the gender. And again, this data is summarized um, in both the table format and with these graphs to make it a little bit easier to visualize the data. And when I'm looking at this, what I can see is it looks like in the biology program and health sciences, there are a lot more females than there are males. So this is something that the biology program could sit down and have a discussion about on do we need to increase outreach to the male students out there or is this um, an acceptable difference in the number of students that are coming through based on their gender. Back to the program review that we're writing in eLumen, what you will find is these questions do parallel what you see in there. So that first tab um, gave us the definitions and then the second tab was about student performance, third one about staffing, and then what's going on with classes and student demographics. So as you're looking at that Excel spreadsheet with the data sets from institutional effectiveness, you're just going through and commenting on what's going on in each of the tabs that are available there. That's going over this strategic initiative um, template for the program review. We looked at section one with the summary, the assessment summary where we're looking at all the numbers um, for the assessments that we've been doing over the past few years. And then we just looked at the program trends. And in the last video, we'll take a look at the impacts on the program and the resource request part of our program review process for instruction.